Hi there guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at how to set your import location of files. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. So now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini-series on um, tips and tricks where we'll be covering a few different things that is worth knowing or perhaps some of them more than others. Then I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, by default, as you can see, if we import something, so we go File, Import, let's grab the star again, and then um, it will throw it in the middle of your screen. Let's just zoom out there. So now if you want to change this, you can always go to your um, config on your main uh, menu. And then we go file per, uh, para settings or parameter settings, that's what it stands for. And then on the, at the bottom here, bottom left, we've got an option called docking import data. So now you can obviously change this to top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. So if you wanted to, this is the way you would do it. But um, a little trick on it as well is if you go and import the file, what I like to do is you simply just, with the file selected, go Control X, and then wherever your mouse cursor is, when you go Control V for pasting, it will put it, place it there. So that is a quick way of getting it to the right place, and then you can just find adjust it. So once again, that is Control X for cut. You can go on the edit as well, cut. And then wherever your mouse cursor is, when you go Control V, it will place the shape in the center of that. So as you can see, my mouse cursor is at the origin. So yeah, just a little trick there on importing or your import location, how you can set it, and but also how you can quickly just change it if you haven't set it. You can just place it wherever you want. But otherwise, in the meanwhile, if we head to the website softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares to do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right just simply click here type what you're looking for and hit the little magnifying glass button and it will try locate it for you but if for some reason you do not find the videos you're looking for you can always go here it creates a training video fill in the media form and then we'll do our best to try and make that video for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers